Jam Virtual Church, a brand new and exciting church just for you. For about the next 30 minutes, we're gonna have loads of fun. We're gonna hear about God and we're gonna worship him. We're gonna discover how special each one of us is to him and how much Jesus really loves you. Each week, there's gonna be different people taking part, sharing in the story of God and helping you to understand it a little bit better. We'll sing some songs, we might make some stuff, and every week there's gonna be a wacky challenge for you and your family to do together uh, before the next week. This week, we're gonna be learning all about when heaven breaks through and Jesus starts his rescue mission to save us all. It really is going to be epic. So stay tuned and enjoy Jam Virtual Church. Heaven Breaks Through, the story of John the Baptist. About the same time Jesus was born, another baby was born. His name was John, and God had a really special job for him. John was going to get everyone ready for Jesus. The day John was born, his dad knew God's promise to Abraham was coming true. God was sending the rescuer, and he was so happy he sang a song. Because God loves us with a never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever love, heaven is breaking through. He is sending us a light from heaven to shine on us like the sun, to shine on those who live in darkness and in the shadow of death, 
to guide our feet into the way of peace. So John grew up and, well, to tell you the truth, he was a bit unusual. He lived in the desert. He wore itchy, scratchy outfits made of camel hair. He had a big, big bushy beard and long, long straggly hair. And here is the oddest thing of all. He only ate locusts. Short for big, creepy, crunchy grasshoppers, which he dipped in honey to disguise the taste, probably. But God sent John to tell his people something important. Stop running away from God and run to him instead, John said. You need to be rescued. I have good news. The rescuer is coming. Make your hearts ready for him. Yes, get ready because your king is coming back for you. Great crowds listened to John. They were sorry they had sinned and they wanted to stop running away from God. They wanted to be rescued. So John baptized them, which means he plunged them in and out of the water. It showed that they wanted to follow God and begin a new life. One day, John was baptizing people in the Jordan River as usual when he looked up and saw a man walking down to the water's edge. God spoke quietly to John. This is the one. John's heart leapt. This was the moment he'd been waiting for all his life. Look, John said as Jesus came down into the water, but his voice came out as a whisper. He couldn't make it any louder. It was all he could do to even speak. The Lamb of God. God's best lamb who takes away the sins of the whole world. Will you baptise me too? Jesus asked. Who am I? John asked. To baptise you? It's what God wants me to do, Jesus said. So John baptised Jesus. Suddenly it was as if someone had drawn back curtains in a dark room, as if heaven itself had opened because a beautiful light broke through the clouds and shone down onto Jesus, bathing him in gold. Beads of water glittered and sparkled like tiny diamonds in his hair. A white dove flew down and gently rested on Jesus, and a voice came down from heaven. It was clear and strong and loud so everyone could hear. This is my own son, and I love him. I am very pleased with him, God said. Listen to him. Heaven had broken through. The great rescue had begun. Hi everyone. It's now time to pray. So close your eyes, put your hands together. Dear God, thank you for all that you do for us. Thank you that you love us and have so many ways that you show that you love us. Thank you that even though it's been a very strange time, We've been able to do things with our families that we would not normally have been able to do and it's been great to do that. We thank you for the teachers and our school people that have been looking after us and getting and helping our work. We thank you for all the people that have been helping us like doctors and nurses and shop people that have kept the country going. We thank you for our families and that they are safe and well and we continue to pray for this. Amen. One, two, three, four. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. He holds us in His hand. Our God is a great big God. God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. He holds us in His hand. He's higher than a skyscraper and deeper than a submarine. He's wider than the universe beyond my wildest dreams. And He's known me and He's loved me. Our God is a great big God. 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 Our God is a great big God.
is a great big guy. He holds us in his hand. He's higher than a skyscraper and deeper than a submarine. He's wider than the universe beyond my wildest dreams. And he's known me and he's loved me since before the world began. Wow, what a fantastic morning we've had, learning all about how when heaven breaks through and Jesus kickstarts his mission to rescue you and me. It's been absolutely fantastic. I've loved every minute of it. Now, as I said at the beginning, each week there's going to be an epic challenge for you as, to do as a family. And this week we learned about John the Baptist, didn't we? We heard about how he was there as part of that story. And I bet he had the wackiest, wildest hair in the Bible. All that locusts and honey and living in the desert must have made his hair absolutely bonkers. So our challenge to you as a family is to uh, uh, make your hair as wild and as wacky as you can. You can't really see mine that much because mine's so short. Um, my daughter helped me with this one. Um, what we want you to do is to make the wackiest hairstyle you possibly can uh, and uh, email it in to the email address that's up here and uh, then we will have a bit of a competition to see who has the wackiest hair uh, in uh, Jam Virtual Church. We hope you've had a good time and we'll see you again uh, very, very soon. Hi. We're going to end our time together this morning with a blessing. Now, a blessing reminds us of just how much God loves us and how much he hopes that we will be his friends. So, a blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Amen. Amen.